Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center line. It's almost beautiful. like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of New York, New York, Ebro Way. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. So here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt tonight. Let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice kick. Again, they clinch. Massive elbow for the clinch. Nice body. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, single collar tie here. Huge knee lands from in close. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual front. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Big kick land. Just over three minutes to go round one. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big head kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before the corner to react. Oh, found a home for that knee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, eats a knee. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look at notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. I will engage in a single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're just... That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Look at the turnover in that kick. Again, back into this position. Powerful leg kick land. What a punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well placed knee to the body. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Leg kick. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh. And there comes the separation now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big head kick land. Oh, collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Got the single collar tie. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh! All right, single collar tie now. Just misses there with the left. Nice. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Right on the button. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thighs, beating his leg up. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Beautiful body from the hand, right on the heel. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Landed that punch flush. Great right hand counter. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Liver kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and both guys really throwing with authority. Visibly limping here. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Ten minutes in the books. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds. This is what happens when you have very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Watch the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anyway. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Blocks that strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Takedown defense holds up. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice punch, man. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at that leg. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. And now he's got that tight punch. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice great punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Check. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And they set him. Big knee to the body. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Superman punch. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Battle for position here. Oh, knee to the head. 
dig and kick. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Great punch landed with so much power. Big kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Back and forth we go. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Continues to mix it up. Going to oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Single collar tie now. Nice strike. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. And they separate. And he caught the kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Out of range with that kick attempt. Caught that kick there. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. All collar tie. And they set it. Head kick lands. Punch over the top. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen. Oh. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Under two minutes now to go. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's third. but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. You 
see him put himself into the half guard. Like the control, yep. Oh, trying to pass it here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Back to the feet now. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Going the winner by knockout. The so the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever 